Good evening everyone and once more welcome to our study tonight. Monday, the year day principle. Dear Lord, tonight we once more invite your Holy Spirit who will guide us into the truth, especially as we take up one principle of history season and that is the year day principle. We pray in Jesus name. Amen. Our text for tonight is found in Numbers 14.34. After the number of the days in which you search the land, even 40 days, each day for a year, shall ye bear your iniquities, even 40 years, and ye shall know by breach of promise. We are interested of the phrase each day for a year. So that is actually our topic, the year day principle. Another text which expresses the same idea is found in Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 6. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. So we have two very specific texts in the Bible to be used to unlock prophecy or time prophecy. So in prophecy, one day is equivalent to one year. We will try our best to validate that kind of principle that we will use in our study this week. How do we validate the year day principle? Well, we take it literal unless proven symbolic. Example, the beast or the animals in the book of Daniel as well as in Revelation, according to these books, represents kingdom. In other words, the beast, the animals are symbolic of kingdom, world powers. The logic is, if this beast represents kingdom, the days assigned to this beast must also be taken symbolically. We will prove that in the next slide. For example, the days that have been assigned to this beast should be equivalent to one year using the verses that we have just read. Now, we will prove it. We will take it and try to take it literal. But if we cannot prove it's literal, then we take it symbolically. Example, the events that are mentioned in this major prophecy, like rebuilding Jerusalem, is actually based on this prophecy. They were given seven weeks to rebuild Jerusalem. Now, let's take it literal. If we can prove it's literal, then we take it literal. But if we cannot prove it's literal, we take it symbolic. But we already have the premise. The animals are symbolic. The time assigned to this must also be symbolic. But let's try it, okay? To be practical, can anyone rebuild a city in just seven weeks or 49 days? There is no such thing as that. You know, I have observed Ayala has built a city just near Adventist University of the Philippines. I was there when uh, the city down there was built. Took them more than a year to develop it. With all the high-tech equipments there and heavy equipment, it took them more than a year to fully complete the city, Paseo City, something like that. But at that time of Daniel, when they returned from Babylonian captivity, they were given seven weeks to rebuild the temple. Now, if we take it literally, then, then we can conclude that Jerusalem was rebuilt only in around 50 days. But it's not true. Since we cannot prove it is literal, we take it symbolically. So, one day is equivalent to one year. So, seven weeks times seven equals 49 days. Since a day is equivalent to one year, so it will be 49 years. So, it is logical and based on history, God's people were able to build Jerusalem for around 50 years or 49 years of building the city of Jerusalem. So the events mentioned in the prophecy would tell us that the days mentioned there is not literal but symbolic. Another event there is the coming Messiah, Jesus Christ. It would take 62 weeks and in the middle of the 20th week, the Messiah will be crucified. So it is not only from the time Jerusalem was rebuilt, we cannot use 62 weeks only. So it is symbolic. So 62 weeks times 7 is 433 years from 408 when Jerusalem was completed. It took the Jews 434 years of waiting for the Messiah. And Jesus came as official Savior of men and He offered His life, His body at the cross, in 
AD 31. So imagine that long years, more than 400 years from the time Jerusalem was completed. If we take it literally, only 62 weeks, it does not make any sense. So the events would tell us whether we take it literal or symbolic. Let's go back to this slide. Another one, method of validating the year day principle are the expressions. In Daniel chapter 8 verse 14, the expression of 2,300 days. Usually, thousands of days are no longer expressed in days but years. But here the expression is in terms of days. That only suggests that we take it symbolic because there are no kingdoms, world power that reigns only 2,000 days. Okay, so that's very practical, pragmatic. If we cannot prove it literal, it must be taken symbolic. We cannot prove that Babylon has just ruled for several days. Medes and Persians, though short, did not live by days but by years. And the Roman Empire has lived for very long years, hundreds of years. And the uh, little horn power has lived in history and has ruled the world from 538 AD until 1798, a total of 1,260 days. If this is literal days, we cannot, it's, it does not make any sense because the church has ruled the world not for days but thousand of years, 1,260 years from 538 AD to 1798 AD. The preterist has dated it earlier, okay, and the futurist has dated it in the distant future. So the little horn power using the preterist and the futurist method in the combined higher criticism has protected the little horn power there. So these are the warring methods of interpretation. But I hope that the Holy Spirit will guide us so that we may believe the prophecy according to the biblical interpretation, not to the human inventions of preterist, futurist, and higher criticism. Once more, we allow the Bible to interpret itself. So tomorrow, we will discuss these major prophecies and the following nights using the year-day principle and using historicist method. Once more, I invite you to a simple reflection found in the book of John 14, 29. 29. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. But in heaven, once more, we give you the honor and the glory for revealing to us specific principle of unlocking prophetic time and this world kingdoms that would usher in the establishment of your heavenly kingdom. Help us to believe in it, for I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up the trumpet.